Radha Mulla Charitable Institutions had a very humble beginning 140 years ago. Man with forethought sailed through the rough seas and reached the west coast of southern India with a unique message of healing and comfort. This institution began as a small homeopathic dispensary way back in 1880 by a well known German philanthropist and social worker, Reverend Father Augustus Miller, the Jesuit missionary. Father Muller started his work dispensing medical care and relief in a ailing poor by supplying genuine homeopathic medicines under a banquet name at no cost at all. This College of Nursing celebrated its Silver Jubilee in the year 2012. The nursing institution celebrated its Tri Jubilee celebrations with immense pride and enthusiasm, where the College of Nursing celebrated the Pearl Jubilee of BSc and Post Basic BSc Nursing, Silver Jubilee of MSc Nursing, and the Diamond Jubilee of General Nursing and Midwifery in the year 2018. At this juncture, we would like to give you an overview of the program that you will witness this afternoon. To begin with, we have the procession comprising of 169 graduates attired in graduation gowns and caps, headed by the band playing tunes of festive songs. The band is from the College and School of Nursing and is led by Miss Anne Mary of fourth year BSc Nursing and are trained by Mr. Vijay Oliveira. Following them will be the institutional flag bearer, Ms. Juby Joseph. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to announce the arrival of our dignitaries. The dignitaries will now receive the guard of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the procession has begun. I request the audience to kindly rise. We have the band of School and College of Nursing, which is led by Miss Anne Mary. <laughs> the institutional flag
Following them, we have 26 post basic BS in nursing graduates having completed two years of studies after their diploma in general nursing and midwifery. Following them, we have the associate professors, heads of the departments, professors and the dignitaries. As our dignitaries, we have Reverend Monsignor Maximel Noronna, Vicar General, Diocese of Mangalore and Vice President of Father Mulla Charitable Institutions. The Chief Guest, Professor Mr. Prasanna Kumaro, Nurse Registrar, Karnataka State Nursing Council, and guest of honor, Professor Dr. Roy K. George, National President, Train Nurses Association of India. Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coilo, Director, Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Administrators, Principals, Vice Principal, and Chief Nursing Officer of Father Muller Medical College Hospital. Ladies and gentlemen, I request you to kindly remain standing as our dignitaries arrive into the arena of the audience. We shall now have a symbolic welcome in the traditional Indian style, the Purna Kumbha Swagata performed by the students of College of Nursing. The Purna Kumbha, the pot symbolizes Mother Earth the giver of life. Coconut symbolizes the divine consciousness and the leaves symbolize life. We request the audience to remain standing. Kindly continue to be standing as we invoke God's blessing with the prayer song led by the students of College of Nursing.
We are honored by the gracious presence of our dignitaries, the President, Reverend Monsignor Maximel Noronna, Vicar General, Diocese of Mangalore, and Vice President of Father Muller Charitable Institutions. The Chief Guest, Professor Mr. Prasanna Kumaro, Nurse Registrar, Karnataka State Nursing Council, Bengaluru. Guest of Honor, Professor Dr. Roy K. George, National President, Train Nurses Association of India. Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Coelho, Director, Father Mulla Charitable Institutions. Reverend Father Ajit Meneses, Administrator, Medical College and College of Allied Health Sciences. Reverend Father Nelson Dirich Pais and Reverend Father George Jeevan Sequera, Assistant Administrators, Medical College Hospital. Reverend Sister Jacinta Disosa, Principal School and College of Nursing. Dr. Devina I. Rodriguez, Vice Principal, College of Nursing. Sister Danya Devasiya, Chief Nursing Officer, Medical College Hospital. I request Reverend Sister Jacinta Disosa to escort the esteemed dignitaries on to the days. an applause to all the dignitaries on the days. The stage is ready and the hall is lit. The minds are steady, but to warm and brighten our hearts, may I now invite our director to give the welcome address and also to introduce our chief guest and the guest of honor to the gathering. Honorable President, esteemed Chief Guest, Guest of Honor, Administrators, Dean, Principals, Members of the Governing Board and the Management Members, Members of the Father Mullah Centenary Charitable Society, all the priests in the management, sisters, guests, parents, faculty of our college and school, graduates, invitees, print and electronic media, and friends, wishing you all a very pleasant evening and heartiest greetings of the day. It is indeed a great day to rejoice, celebrate, and thank God, and feel happy because our students of school and college of nursing have reached a milestone, their dream realized and goal achieved. We had Thanksgiving Mass yesterday for all our graduates, parents and guardians of our students. I must tell you the humble beginning of Father Mullah Charitable Institutions in the year 1880 and today spreading its wings and reaching the height of becoming a very prestigious institution not only in our state, in India and also across the globe. The Father Mullah School of Nursing started in the year 1959 and is in its 64th year and College of Nursing started in the year 1987 in its 36th year. I am happy to inform you that Father Mullah Institution is the first one to start a school of nursing and a college of nursing in the private sector of our state. The college was accredited with A grade in the year 2014 
by NAC and now again re-accredited. Our college is having state-of-the-art infrastructure, well-furnished and equipped classrooms, demonstration labs, library, clinical facilities, clinical material and hostels all in one campus. For the academic year 22-23, 208 students are admitted for four programs, namely GNM, BSc, Post Basic Nursing, and MSc Nursing. Today, I must say that nurses trained in Fadamullah School and College of Nursing have gone out to different countries of the world and spread the fragrance of our school and college. The nurses trained here are very competent and confident nurses. The nurses trained in our college are truly angels of compassion and empathy. They are molded by our faculty to be angelic like Florence Nightingale, the lady with the lamb, the role model of all nurses. With this note, I would like to welcome the president of today's program, very Reverend Monsignor Maxim Noronna, the Vicar General of our Diocese and Vice President of our prestigious institutions. Monsignor Maxim is a very simple and a humble person, always approachable. He has rich administrative and pastoral experience in our diocese. He motivates the administration to be humane and loving always. We are happy to have you Monsignor Maxim with us today as the president of this function and I extend a cordial welcome to you very Reverend Monsignor and may I request Reverend Father Nelson Pais, Assistant Administrator of our hospital to offer a bouquet of flowers as a mark of our respect and love. A big round of applause. It's my privilege to introduce our chief guest, a very popular personality, Professor Prasanna Kumar O. He completed graduation in the year 1994 from Government College of Nursing, Bangalore, and post graduation in the year 2006 in Community Health Nursing. He is also a PhD scholar. 24 years of service at state government and in that eight years in clinical area and 16 years in collegiate program. He worked in different capacities as follows. Worked as a master trainer under Indian Nursing Council for five years under GF ATM project for HIV, AIDS and tuberculosis. As a member of SOP committee of Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences, actively contributed as a co-author in preparing SOP manual for basic and advanced nursing procedures. He has participated as a resource person in national and international conferences and also presented papers. He worked as a faculty of nursing, as a board of studies member and as academic council member of Rajiv Gandhi University of Health Sciences. He is the recipient of Kannada Rajasava Award in the year 2022, the Best Trainer Award by Indian Nursing Council under GF ATM program. Working State President for Government Graduate and Postgraduate Nurses Association, Karnataka, and presently working as a Principal, Government Col College of Nursing, Bengaluru. Registrar, Karnataka State Nursing Council, and Assistant Director, Nursing, Medical Education, Government of Karnataka. Hearty welcome to you, sir, to this grand ceremony. And I request the principal of our College of Nursing, Sister Jacinta de Souza, to offer a bouquet of flowers. We are really honored by the presence of Professor Dr. Roy K. George, the National President, Trained Nurses Association of India, as our guest of honor. 
Professor Roy K. George is a PhD holder in psychiatric nursing with more than three decades of experience in various levels of nursing from staff nurse to head of various institutions. He graduated in nursing from Government College of Nursing, Kotayam in the year 1987, MSc Nursing from Nimhans, Bangalore and PhD from School of Behavioral Sciences, Mahatma Gandhi University, Kerala. As an active professional, he had occupied many administrative positions, both as head of nursing institutions and other multidisciplinary institutions in various parts of our country. Currently, he is the academic director of multidisciplinary institutions of Baby Memorial Hospital, Cozy Code, Kerala. He is an active researcher with many projects in dementia and an author of more than 35 scientific articles in national and international journals and has published two books. He is a member of the Board of Studies of various universities and is a PhD guide and adjudicator in many universities. He is a very active professional and had held many leadership positions in TNEAI and other professional societies and is currently the national president of Trained Nurses Association India, which has a history of 114 years of glorious existence. Under his leadership, TNAI is trying to make great changes for nursing profession in India. He is also member of the statutory body in nursing, the Indian Nursing Council. Sir, we are extremely happy to have you with us today for this graduation ceremony. A cordial welcome to you, sir, and I request Dr. Divina Rodriguez, the Vice Principal of our College of Nursing, to offer a bouquet of flowers. It's my joy to welcome all the priests in the management, Father Ajit, Father Sylvester, Father Vincent, Sylvester Vincent, Father Roshan, Father Jeevan, Father Nelson, Father Rohan, and our chaplains, Father Felix, Father George, and Father Ronald, who shoulder the responsibility of this institution along with me. I take this occasion to appreciate their hard work, and also I cordially welcome them to this program. Our governing board members have honored us with their presence today. They always encourage and motivate us in the progress and development of the institutions, and they plan and visualize the future course of our institution. Recognizing each of them, I extend a hearty welcome to all of you, my dear, dear governing board members. We have with us the management committee members, advisory committee members, the heads of the educational units, and all our teaching faculty and supportive staff of our college and school. It's my joy to extend a hearty welcome to all of you. And you, dear parents and guardians of our graduates, we are very proud of you and to see you today here in this program. You are truly our ambassadors and it is because of you that Father Mullah School and Nursing College has become very famous by sending, because you have sent your children here for nursing education. Thanks for sending your children to our college and thank you for gracing this occasion and a hearty welcome to all of you, dear parents. And here are our graduates. We are proud of you. You are our ambassadors because it is you who keep our campus very vibrant and colorful to inform the house that men are a minority in our institution and most of our students are girl children and therefore you keep the campus always lively, vibrant and colorful. We love you always and a hearty welcome to all of you. I also take this opportunity to welcome all our guests, invitees, media and press personnel who are present here and uh, always they are with us. A hearty welcome to all of you. 
to conclude keeping in mind the legacy of a founder reverend father augustus muller whose spirit guides us every day to take this institution to greater heights to achieve progress and success the key word is the motto of our institution that is heal and comfort the noble mission and the holistic health care services to the suffering humans to the suffering humans is our concern and it is the mandate of christ that we follow here and therefore our institution is a charitable institutions and people come here for good services and also for sometimes even for a peaceful death we are grateful to all our stakeholders our patients and all our all those who visit our institution our well wishers a hearty welcome to all of you and have a very pleasant evening thank you and may god bless us all thank you father we welcome you too on this occasion may i now request the principal to present the annual report of school and college of nursing honored dignitaries on the days and off days ladies and gentlemen i am proud to place before you a brief annual report of father mulla school and college of nursing for the year 2022-23 father mulla school of nursing one of the pioneer institution of nursing started in the year 1959 and college of nursing started in the year 1987 The National Assessment and Accreditation Council has accredited the college with A grade on July 10, 2014, making it the first nursing college under RGHS Bangalore to be accredited and was re-accredited on March 16, 2021. Academic achievements. Results of the university and board examination October November 2022. final years of msc bsc and gnm course is 100% out of 29 gnm students who appeared for board exams 23 secured distinctions 98 bsc nursing students who appeared for university exam out of whom 54 have secured distinctions and out of 6 post graduates 4 have secured distinctions and all others have passed with first class 2018-2021 batch bsc nursing students have won 26 subject wise ranks below 10 in the university examinations pvbsc and msc yet to be declared congratulations dear students thank you for making your college proud over the years 6444 graduates have walked out of the portals of college and school of nursing and how become its brand ambassadors the college has as director already said state of the art ict enabled all in one college campus supportive learning environment career oriented discipline good clinical and library facilities laboratories for demonstrations computer lab simulation center and hostels which attract the students to study here college is also an examination center for both ug and pg for theory and practicals college has 60 excellent efficient and highly motivated faculty who plan meticulously all the curricular and co-curricular activities for the students a total of 657 students are studying in gnm pbbsc msc course and bsc courses nursing courses for the year 2022-23 faculty in news sister judy sic hod administration and management department and mr shiji pj hod community health nursing department obtained phd in nursing in the year 2022 from nite university and mrs pramila de souza hod obg department was awarded phd in Kami in nursing in the year 2023 from enopoya university 
Congratulations to you and we are proud of you. Professor Shiji also was selected as national mentor in the Community Health Officer Mentoring Project by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Mr. Ashwin Bromio J conducted a one-day workshop on emergency skills at Kanachur College of Physiotherapy. Ms. Reena Wilma Frank and Ms. Sandra Jyoti Saldanam participated as senior instructors for the ENLS course organized by RGHS Jivaraksha and were also resource faculty for two days workshop on creating skill training modules from 22nd March to 24th March 2022. Dr. Professor Devina E. Rodriguez presented a topic on the monsoon game, a reflection of light in daily life, simulation-based learning for the staff and students of medical college. She was the resource person for the national conference on the topic, what's so hard about research, was appointed as a district Indian Red Cross subcommittee member and has completed the Swayam certificate course on ethics review and health research certified by NIE-ICMR. Ms. Sunita Priya Menezes completed an e-course on health research methodology and publishing program developed by BMJ and UCSF on 8th August 2022 and was felicitated during the National Library Day celebration. Happy to announce that Dr. Sasikumar Yes, HOD Medical Surgical Nursing Department and primary investigator of a research project received a grant of rupees 17 lakhs 23,376 from ICMR. Ms. Sandra Jyoti Sardana, Associate Professor, Department of Child Health Nursing, received a grant of rupees 10,000 from TNAI for the study on impact of COVID-19 on neonatal feeding practices of postnatal mothers. 25 faculty have completed online courses with certification on 35 topics. 25 faculty have completed the foundation course in education methodology from RGUHS. Others are on research, counseling, forensic nursing, palliative care, capacity building, and so on. 15 faculty were resource persons for various conferences and seminars. 20 faculty published a total of 24 papers, out of which 13 were in indexed UGC and Scopus. 10 presented papers or posters and over 45 national and international conferences or seminars were attended by the faculty. 5 faculty are BLS instructors, 8 ENLS instructors, among whom 3 are training of trainers. At present, Eight faculty are PhD scholars under different universities. Students in news. The following students received rupees 60,000 grants from UG research projects from the university for the year 2022. Ms. Alita Sweeney Saldanam, Mr. Ganesha, Ms. Sona Mariam Philip, Ms. Velani Rosita Montero, and Ms. Anupa Sibi. Seven four-year fourth-year students won first, second, and third prizes in the essay writing, e-poster, and quiz competition organized by the Department of Dermatology in collaboration with Sasakawa Health Foundation, Tokyo, Japan, in the month of January 2022, in order to mark the observance of World Leprosy Day. On the occasion of the celebration of 75, 75 years of Independence Day. Cultural competitions were organized and 18 students won prizes in patriotic singing and dancing and poster competition. Our college band has added grandeur to all our programs. Important events. Faculty development and training programs on an art of writing manuscript hands-on practice. CPR training for eight non-teaching staff and 54 security personnel. National Conference on the Topic Demystifying Heart, a Cardiac Nursing Conference, Symposium on Mental Health Nursing, a uh, Navigo UK, as a part of collaboration and memorandum of understanding between Father Muller Charitable Institutions and UK, Parent Teacher Students Meeting, Seminar on Intellectual Property Rights, Participation in a Survey Organized by District Health and Family Welfare Department Government of India 
to screen for mosquito breeding places in Suratkal area from 3rd June to 29th June 2022. Lamp lighting and oath taking ceremony, the course inauguration of the 36th batch of BSC Nasi, course inauguration of the 65th batch of GNM, 35th batch of PBBSC, and 31st batch of MSC, a workshop on first aid during emergency for 268 students at St. Aloysius Industrial Training Institute, Freshers Day Noveta Fiesta 2K22, guest lecture on our city and overview for the faculty members, the inauguration of IELTS Coaching Center at College of Nursing, oath taking and installation ceremony of the newly elected Student Nurses Council executive members, workshop on e-content development making educational videos using open free software, women's health and wellness exhibition, gender responsive approach to innovation, technology and digital education, and apart from above, five programs on celebration of special days, 10 radio and TV talks, 20 outreach and awareness programs, 23 co-curricular activities were conducted. Students and faculty participated in 40 camps and more organized by the hospital and faculty organized and attended 26 conferences and seminars in the college. Research. Faculty and students, both PG and UG, undertake research projects. At present, a total of 12 faculty projects, 14 PG projects and 19 UG projects are going on. 12 projects have been just completed. College also has MOUs with eight research and academic collaborations. NSS. NSS unit participated in a rally on World Day Against Child Labor, International Yoga Day celebration, participated in a rally in collaboration with the District Health Administration on awareness on routine immunization and breastfeeding, organized a COVID vaccine vaccination awareness program at KSRTC bus stand Vijay and private bus stand State Bank Mangalore. Sports, games and extracurricular activities. Mrs. Shushma K.R. and Mrs. Ramya Shri S. faculty secured second place in state level women doubles badminton tournament 2022 and Mrs. Shushma K.R. secured third place in state level women singles badminton tournament 2022 conducted by Rajiv Gandhi University, Bangalore. Sports Day Ignite 2K22 was conducted on 25th March at Father Muller Stadium. Mr. Abel Joseph, third year BSc nursing student, secured first place in the 80 kg category single zone best physic competition and second place in the 74 kg category single zone power lifting and Mr. Alan Gomes secured second place in the 65 kg category best physique competition and third place in the 66 kg category single zone powerlifting competition organized by RGHS. The students of fourth year BSc nursing along with the coordinators participated in the Yogathon Guinness, record, Guinness World Record program organized by the Department of District Health and Family Welfare alumni. The executive committee members of our alumni association had visited Prashant Nivas, a home for the needy located at Jeppu, Mangaluru, and handed over the toiletry articles for the inmates. The alumni association awarded scholarships for seven outstanding students for their academic excellence and were felicitated with a cash prize of 5,000 each. Alumni members rejoiced at 25 glorious years of the Alumni Association. Around 200 alumni participated in the Silver Jubilee celebration on 13th December 2022. Seed grants of 20,000 each and the eminent alumni award was given. Silver Jubilee bulletin was also released on the same day by the dignitaries. Father Mullah College of Nursing has been visited by 343 students from nine nursing colleges from within and out states for their administrative experiences. To conclude, as I conclude this brief report, we want to sincerely thank God Almighty 
for his continuous grace upon us. Blessings through Reverend Father Augustus Muller and in a very special way, Reverend Father Richard Aloysius Quello, our director and all in the management who take best decisions for the good of the college. I am also grateful to my entire team of faculty who work with me hand in hand and are a strong pillar of support in all the activities of the college. My sincere thanks to my office staff for their untiring, meticulous work. Thank you, dear students, for giving life to the college, your availability and generosity, and for being an inspiration to me and to one another. And you, dear graduates, you are our ambassadors. The college and this institution have given you the best. Live your values and be successful in your life. Thanks to all parents of the graduates, alumni, our well-wishers for your support and blessings. In one word, thanks to each and every one of you who help us to go forward with confidence. For seeing to do better, I conclude. Thanks again. Thank you, sister. Let us now honor the graduates of our school and college as the degrees are bestowed on them. They will soon leave their alma mater and play their part as committed nursing professionals. A humble request to the audience to refrain from approaching the days which may obstruct the proceedings of the solemn occasion. An official photographer is assigned for the photo coverage of the entire program. We begin with the graduation ceremony with the School of Nursing. A kind note to the graduates, as your names are being called, I request you to enter the stage from the same side you are seated and go back to your seat from the center stairs. May I now invite Ms. Carolyn Smitha to present the diploma holders of General Nursing and Midwifery. I kindly request our chief guest and guest of honor to present the certificates to our graduates. Good afternoon, one and all. I am delighted to call upon graduates of General Nursing and Midwifery course. Sister Chandani Nayak, Ms. Daila Krasta. Ms. Danushri, Ms. Divya Jyoti Krasta. Ms. Gladys Fernandez PB, Ms. Helvisha Vegas. Ms. Jacinta OJ, Ms. Jasmine Raja. Ms. Luna Maria de Souza. Ms. Mahima Vijay Fernandez. Ms. Marina Luis. Ms. Mahima Vijay Fernandez. 
presentation to the graduates of BSc nursing and I request Ms. Ramya I'm pleased to present the graduates of BSc nursing program Mr. Edin Punnos, Ms. Irene K.M. Ms. Aishwarya Satish Gaunka, Ms. Aishwarya Roy. Ms. Aishwarya Shaji, Ms. Akshaya Johnson. Ms. Alina Jimmy, Ms. Alina K. Saju. Mr. Arva Leander Gregory Ivan, Ms. Amrita Ale Thomas, Ms. Anisha Johnson, Ms. Angel Maria George, Ms. Angel Shaju, Ms. Anisha Vinita Matias. Ms. Anu Rachel Martha, Ms. Ashna Jose, Ms. Ashna Fiona Lewis, Ms. Bimija Biju, Ms. Ashwini, Ms. Carol Sweetie Montero. Ms. Boni Shaju, Ms. Chaitra H. Nayak. Ms. Caroline Rashmi Pinto, Ms. Dikosta Kunchita Nimami. Ms. Chinju Matthew, Ms. Diana Disoza. Ms. Disoza Senvi, Ms. Deepika Udai Satarka. Ms. Deepa, Ms. Dijina Thomas. Ms. Delna Vias, Ms. Fernandez Blessy Elena. Ms. Elka Susan Gigi, Ms. Fernandez Shalisha, Ms. Fernandez Melissa Sweezel Thomas, Ms. Flavita Gloria Saravo, Ms. Flavia De Souza, Ms. Gia Rosrechi. Father George Fernandez, 
Miss Gloria Lyra Menezes. Miss Gladys Helen De Souza, Miss Gwenora Benedicta De Souza, Miss Gudino Meridel Lynn, Miss Jeril Maria Soji, Miss Harshal Prima De Souza, Miss Jaswin Lolita Krasta. Miss Jessita Elsa Thomas, Miss Kavya Biju, Miss Lisa Rosario, Miss Lobo Joylin Jossi, Miss Maria Mol Sebastian, Miss Melissa Naomi Lewis. Miss Melna Raju, Miss Neha James, Miss Nimisha Johnson, Miss Pavitra Yes, Miss Pearl De Silva, Miss Primal De Souza. Miss Primika Christi De Souza, Miss Rani Pierce, Miss Rebello Jennifer Raju, Miss Renisha Fernandez, Miss Renisha Nazareth, Miss Renita De Souza. Miss Reshma P. Thomas, Miss Reshna Benny, Miss Rinku Sara Reji, Miss Ria Maria Roy, Miss Triana Salins, Miss Rose Maria Sunny. Miss Sajia Mohammed Salim Makanda, Miss Samantha Conrad, Miss Sandra Ritchie, Miss Sandra Zakaria, Miss Sanika Jimmy, Miss Situ Raju. Miss Neha Mayola Norona, Miss Neha Prakash, Miss Neha Sebi, Miss Sonal Arana, Miss Sonia Babita De Souza, Miss Saumya Kayes. Miss Tilna Thomas, Miss Sulu Matai. Miss Sushmita T. Chandeka, Miss Shweta Maria Viji, Miss Tania Teresa, Miss Tina George, Miss Tina George, Miss Trezia. Miss Vanessa Fernandez, Miss Vanessa Josna Pinto, Miss Vidyashri Anti, Miss Vivita Javita Pinto, Miss Ashley Babu, in absentia, Mr. Anupam Gaikwad, Miss Jovita De Costa, Miss Linta Sabu, Miss Angel Sunny. Thank you. Thank you, sirs. Dear graduates, this is a solemn moment in your lives. As you said to begin healing and comforting ministry, it is very important to carry out your task with utmost dedication, 
abiding by the ethical and moral principles and also upholding the dignity of your profession. Let us now witness the oath taking by our nursing graduates. May I now request our principal to administer the professional nurses oath. I request you all to put forward your right hand and repeat after me. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to practice my profession diligently. I will respect all life, human dignity and rights in the practice of my calling. I will zealously seek to care for those in need irrespective of race, creed, color or social status. I will collaborate and coordinate with the health team and devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family and my country. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility to promote health, to prevent illness, to restore health and to alleviate suffering. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. Kindly place the tussle of your cap from the left to right. Now you are graduate nurses. Congratulations to all of you. Thank you, sister. Please be seated. Now we have the graduates of PBBSC and MSc Nursing. I request Ms. Lavina Rodriguez to introduce them and I also request our Chief Guest and Guest of Honor to present the certificates. Good afternoon. I am delighted to present the graduates of Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing and M.Sc. Nursing. Post Basic B.Sc. Nursing, Ms. Ajina Moljoy, Sister Eli Kutti Anthony. Ms. Benita Priya De Souza, Ms. Bismi Benny. Ms. Danya Thomas, Ms. Divya M. Suresh. Ms. Hanisha Lavita Minages, Ms. Joslita Princia Almeida. Ms. Joylin Prima de Souza, Ms. Juhi. Ms. Lavina Dimello, Sister Lavita Priya Dias. Ms. Marita Kuria Kos, Ms. Miral Roshil Desa. Ms. Priya Vinaya Ribello, Ms. Ravina Morris. Sister Engini Joseph, Ms. Rini Yamar. Ms. Rosemary Burgess, Sister Sina Pepe. Sister Shelby George, Sister Shema Sebastian. Ms. Sherin Tom, Ms. Shilpa JJ.
Miss Terina Agustin, Miss Veronica Paulus. MSc Nursing graduates, Mr. Shrikant SK, Ms. Vilma D. Almeida. Ms. Devu Krishna BS, Ms. Shilpa Javita de Souza. Sister Jensi Amaliar, Sister Lena Antonian. In absentia, Ms. Naik Gonkar Nikita Diamond. Congratulations to the proud graduates of PBBSE Nursing and MSc Nursing for achieving another milestone in your professional life. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we have with us 169 graduates and the unforgettable moment celebrating their achievements. Today, the field of education has gained new promising additions. Dear graduates, it's a new beginning, a new chapter, a new endeavor, and above all, a new challenge. Take pride in how far you've come. Have faith in how far you can go. But don't forget to enjoy the journey. May God's grace be with you as you step ahead towards your dreams. Audience, Please give a big applause to all our graduates. It is time to salute the alma mater for its enormous effort in molding you into the worthy professional. College and school has left no stones unturned in order to give you value-based professional education. It has put a foundation stone in your professional career and it will play a major role in every decision of your life. With due respect to our alma mater, let us now join together in singing the institutional anthem. I request all the audience to kindly rise. Please be seated. Hearty congratulations to all our graduates and postgraduates. Congratulations to all the parents and guardians as well. We now have the honor of listening to our chief guest, 
Professor Prasanna Kumar O. Sir, we kindly request you to address the gathering. Respected presiding officer of the day's function, Vice President, Father Mullar Charitable Institution, respected guest of honor on the dais, Roy K. George, National President, Trine Nurses Association of India, respected director, Father Mullar's Charitable Institutions, Respected Principal Father Mullar, School and College of Nursing, with highest regard and respect for her sincere contribution to the nursing profession, Reverend Sister Jacinta de Souza Madam on the dais. Respected all the dignitaries on the dais, directors, governing council members, vice principal, principal, I mean the faculty, senior faculty members all the respected professional colleagues, most respected parents, students, and dear graduates. A very big congratulations to all the graduates who have received the degrees today and also post-graduates. And also a congratulations to the parents friends and your relatives, it is their efforts. So they are here to witness a significant event today. And also I extend my congratulations to the great institution. I must say this, you are all blessed to get education in this, one of the finest pioneer institution you are all highly blessed to get this. The reason why is so-called the noble profession, the nursing educational institutions, unfortunately, nowadays it is gone into the hands of business educators. You are talking, director sir was telling, so nowadays, so there is no ethics the professional antiquities have gone. Yes, of course, there are many reasons for that. But anyhow, you are all highly blessed. So your formal education, the classroom education is finished. The chapter one is finished, but it is not the end. The actual education, it is yet to. Once you get into the actual professional, inducted into an institution, here in the institution, we used to create the learning environment. The university used to give or the college used to give the environment, so where you are studying. But whereas, once you start working in an education institution or in a hospital setup, it is you, you need to create your own learning environment. That is where it is. So, The learning environment why I am telling you is, I was looking at you coming onto the dais, walking onto the dais, each one of you with a big smile on your face, keeping the firm, bouncing steps, under, with a lot of confidence. Just imagine four years before you, you may be seated in the same auditorium to receive the oath like uh, what you received today, uh, lamp lighting and oath taking ceremony. Just imagine the day. Definitely, you are not so confident. Is it? So that means, during these four years, the institutions, the faculty has nurtured you, you have prepared you. The confidence, what you exhibited today, it is the competencies within you.
these competencies have been developed by this institution. We have never forgotten the previous pandemic situation. What we have learned from the lessons of pre previous pandemic situation, it is a time where we need to translate into the actions, we need to put into the action. The health industry in the world, we may need to face more such challenges, global health challenges, for that we need to prepare ourselves, we need to put our hands together to build a very strong and resilient health system. We all know that we the nurses, we contribute more than 50% of the health manpower in health system. So that means huge responsibility on us. Huge responsibility on us. We always say nurses the voice to lead. The nurses the voice to lead. That means we need to, it, it should be our vision to take our profession to the next higher level of standards. That is what the oath you have taken today. Dear graduates, just by adding the numbers into the system, I don't believe we can build a strong system. It is only by adding a very competent, highly skilled nursing professionals like you all should be added to the system where we can build a strong and resilient system to face the global health challenges. I think all of us know that the WHO and the International Council of Nurses has announced the year 2020 as year of nurses. Probably no other cadre has received such a I mean, like what we received for the nurses. The entire world started recognizing us, talking about nurses. Just previously, yesterday, we had a meeting. So where the national, the Health and Family Welfare Government of India Secretary was also there in the meeting. So we were talking much about the nursing, nursing standards and nursing colleges to improve the nursing college's quality. See, this is the bureaucrats are started talking about the nursing. The policy makers are started talking about the nursing. So, in this regard, I, I think how many, how many of you might have read the global strategic directions for nurses and midwifery. If you are not read, please, today itself, you just read that. The strategic directions for nurses and midwifery which has issued the policy strategies be in four focused areas. We will definitely, we are going to, by reading that, you are all going to resume more responsibilities. So that is how we need to present ourselves. We need to work within the framework of ethics, professional ethics and professional antiquities. And one simple thing which I want to tell you is, as Madam was telling, you are the right ambassadors of these institutions. Today you have not only received the degree, you also received a global citizenship, the visa. You can go to any corner of the world with this degree. So that means you must be prepared yourself to meet that demands. We need to get prepare ourselves competent enough to work in such areas. And also while going, you, need, you are the ambassadors of this, such a prestigious institution to carry the fragrance or legacy of these institutions while carrying whatever you have learned, the integrity what you have learned from this institution in your life. Don't ever hollow any other negative feeling like maybe a selfishness to blemish this integrity. Carry this, live with life, with the love, passion because you know like in the in this world of digital technology probably everything is possible with the help of technology but nursing care comes you are loving words the compassionate care the healing hand probably cannot be replaced by the technology so let us all love will care as your vision of this institution solidly says let us all work you are our force you are our support you are our strength Go conquer the world with the love. All the best. Good luck. Thank you, sir, for your inspiring and thoughtful message. On behalf of the graduates, 
Miss Neha Mayola Norona will now express her sentiments and gratitude. I would like to start with this poem. Do you sometimes wonder why you do the job you do? Did you choose your career or did your job choose you? Way back before you were born, God knew that there was a need. So he picked your fertile heart and planted a caring seed. Then he waited and he watched, knowing before too long, the desire in you to help others would continue to go strong. He guided you throughout life to the course that you took. Because you were a chosen one, you are written in his book. The caring heart he put in you as he put others first, leaving only one path to take, in you there was a thirst. Not seeking fame or fortune, born with a tender touch, you are who you are meant to be. That's why you care so much. Because caring don't take practice. is not something that you rehearse. You answered a special calling when you became a nurse. On a special day like today, I believe this beautiful poem written by Edwin C. Hofford resonates not only within me, but also with my fellow graduates. Respected dignitaries on the days and off the days, supporting teachers, proud parents, and my dear fellow graduates, I, Ms. Neha Mayla Noronda from the batch 2K18, humble to address such a wonderful gathering. I greet you all with respect and bowingly seek your blessing. Today marks the achievement of a milestone in our journey. But remember, friends, a milestone never shows the distance that we have already traveled. It always shows the distance that is to be traveled. Past four years at Father Muller Charitable Institutions and particularly in FMCon have laid a pathway for a bright future to young budding nurses like us. An institution that nurtured our young minds to understand the importance of our calling showed us a world that needed a caring heart and a healing touch. Cultivated in us values of patience and understanding towards patients, shaped our perspective towards life and enabled us to work as a team and also as a leader. We owe our success to our teachers. Dear teachers, the four years of journey as a nursing student wouldn't have been possible without you. We have been inspired by your dedication and hard work. Especially during this pandemic, we realize the amounts of efforts and hard work and all the sacrifices you have made for us. So that we could become skilled nurses without compromising on the quality of education. We will be forever indebted to you all. A family away from home was formed in our hostel. While living together, we learned the importance of accepting each other's differences, sharing meals, celebrating festivals. Studying and working together in this hostel has formed those beautiful bonds that have blossomed into everlasting friendships. In this campus, every corner has a memory for us to cherish. One such place is the powerhouse of our campus, our chapel. The graces we received and the comfort provided by all the spiritual activities is immeasurable. Our achievement today is not only ours, but also of our parents. The dreams we dreamt because they are us, and their support has made those dreams come true. Dear parents, in your eyes today made all our efforts worth. All this was possible only because of our ever supporting persons in the management. Your passion for students, the plans and projects for our growth will always bear fruit. We bow our head 
in gratitude to you. Though I wish to remember each and every stone, corner, plants, friendship above all persons and thank them, I am unable to do it. Thank you, FMCI. A new life awaits for all of us with new challenges, new roles and new achievements. But wherever we go, we will be proudly taking forward the name of our institution. I pray that our alma mater keeps growing and writes its legacy for the centuries to come. Thank you one and all. Thank you, Sneha. Now it is time to honor our meritorious graduates of School and College of Nursing, whose academic performance has been outstanding. May I request Dr. Agnes E.J. to announce the names of the achievers. First, we shall have the award ceremony of General Nursing and Midwifery, and I request our chief guest to do the honors. Respected dignitaries on the dais and off the dais, I am happy to announce the academic prizes for board examination held by Karnataka State Diploma in Nursing Examination Board, Bengaluru 2022. Highest aggregate in first year GNM, prize founded by late father P.S. Norona, ex-director is awarded to Lobo Riona Robert. Highest marks in Anatomy, Physiology and Microbiology Prize founded by Sister Edmund D'Souza, Ex-Principal is awarded to Jalisha S. Lopez. Highest marks in Psychology and Sociology is awarded to Sister Elizabeth Matthew. Highest marks in Fundamentals of Nursing, prize sponsored by School of Nursing Alumni is awarded to Renita D'Souza. Highest marks in Community Health Nursing 1, prize founded by Leigh Lawrence Fernandez is awarded to Prishma Ale. Highest aggregate in second year GNM, prize founded by Father CJ Mathias and highest marks in mental health nursing, prize founded by Dr. K. Shetty is awarded to Janisha Pavitra Lobo. Highest marks in medical surgical nursing, prize founded by late Dr. Jasmadi Modi is awarded to Sahana. Highest marks in child health nursing, prize sponsored by School of Nursing Alumni is awarded to Elizabeth Lalu. Highest aggregate in third year GNM, prize founded by Father Ellis Pais and highest marks in midwifery and gynecology, prize founded by late sister Maria Teresa Fernandez is awarded to Maria Jimmy Highest marks in Community Health Nursing 2 Prize founded by Lake Lawrence Fernandez and highest aggregate for consecutive 3 years prize founded by Sister Apollon Moniz Ex-Provincial Superior of Sisters of Charity is awarded to Primal Rachel Meneses Thank you, sir. Now it is time to honor our BSc and MSc nursing awardees, and I request our guest of honor to felicitate them. Now 
I would like to present the College of Nursing awardees. Sponsored prizes by the Alumni Association of College of Nursing and others for the students who secured highest marks in the annual examinations held in the month of November 2022 and March 2023. First in the class in third year BSc Nursing is awarded to Alina Jins. First in the class in the first year MSc Nursing is awarded to Sister Binsi KJ. First in the class in second year MSc Nursing is awarded to Sister Jensi Amali R. Highest marks in OBG nursing in 4th year BSc nursing is awarded to Dijna Thomas. Highest aggregate in medical surgical nursing in 2nd and 3rd year BSc nursing is awarded to Gloria Selen C. Raphael. Highest marks in psychiatric nursing in third year BSc nursing is awarded to Vivina Michelle Menezes. Highest marks in pediatric nursing in third year BSc nursing, prize donated by Mr. Eric and Lena in the name of Master Renever D'Souza is awarded to Velani Rosita Mondero. First in the class in 4th year BSc Nursing, highest aggregate in Community Health Nursing in 2nd and 3rd year, 4th year, 4th year BSc Nursing, prize donated by Mrs. Leela Nair and highest aggregate in BSc Nursing, prize donated by Superior General Sisters of Charity is awarded to Gia Rose Reggie. First in the class in second year MSc Nursing, highest aggregate in MSc Nursing, prize donated by Superior General, Sisters of Charity and Best Dissertation in MSc Nursing, guided by Mr. Ebin Kuriakos, Assistant Professor and Mr. Ashwin Romeo, Associate Professor is awarded to Devu Krishna B.S. Thank you, sir. Next, we will award the rank holders among the graduates and I would like to request our director to honor them. University rank holders from BSc graduates. Dijna Thomas secured third rank in midwifery and obstetrical nursing. Venisa Josna Pinto secured 4th rank in Nursing Research and Statistics and 9th rank in Anatomy and Physiology. Aishirya Roy secured 7th rank in Anatomy and Physiology. Melissa Naomi Lewis secured 7th rank in Microbiology. Gia Rose Reggie secured 7th rank in Midwifery and Obstetrical Nursing and 10th rank in Nutrition and Biochemistry. Dikosta Conchita Niyami secured 8th rank in Nutrition and Biochemistry. Kavya Biju secured 8th rank in Nutrition and Biochemistry. Saumya KS secured 8th rank in Communication and Education Technology. Aishirya Satish Gawankar secured 8th rank in Nutrition and Biochemistry and 10th rank in Anatomy and Physiology. 
ആഷ്ണ ജോ സെക്യോൾ നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ സൈക്കോളജി സോണിയ ബബിത ഡിസൂസ സെക്യോൾ നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ അനാട്ടമി ആൻഡ് ഫിസിയോളജി ഡിസൂസ സെൻവി സെക്യോൾ നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ മാനേജ്മെന്റ് ഓഫ് നഴ്സിംഗ് സർവീസസ് ആൻഡ് എഡ്യൂക്കേഷൻ എൽക്ക സൂസൻ ജിജി സെക്യോർ നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ ന്യൂട്രീഷൻ ആൻഡ് ബയോകെമിസ്ട്രി ആൻഡ് ടെൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ അനാട്ടമി ആൻഡ് ഫിസിയോളജി ഗ്ലാഡിസ് ഹെലൻ ഡിസൂസ സെക്യോർ നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ നഴ്സിംഗ് റിസർച്ച് ആൻഡ് സ്റ്റാറ്റിസ്റ്റിക്സ് നയൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ കമ്മ്യൂണിറ്റി ഹെൽത്ത് നഴ്സിംഗ് വൺ ടെൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ ന്യൂട്രീഷൻ ആൻഡ് ബയോകെമിസ്ട്രി ആൻഡ് ടെൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ സോഷ്യോളജി ഐറൻ കെ എം സെക്യോർ ടെൻ റാങ്ക് ഇൻ അനാട്ടമി ആൻഡ് ഫിസിയോളജി Ria Maria Joy secured 10 rank in microbiology and 10 rank in nursing research and statistics. Sneha Sebi secured 10 rank in nursing research and statistics. Rihanna Salens secured 10 rank in communication and education technology. She is also receiving the best UG research project award as principal investigator under the guidance of Mrs. Sandra Jodi Saldana, associate professor. And the group members were Rose Maria, Samantha, Sajia and S. Monica. Thank you, Father. A leader of Train Nurses Association of India and a visionary in nursing profession, Dr. Roy K. George, is here with us today and may I now request Sir to address the gathering and share his thoughts with us. A very warm good evening to all. <coughs> President of the meeting, Reverend Messenger Maxim El Narona. Director of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Father Richard Aloysius, Sir Jacinda de Sousa, Principal of Father Muller's College of Nursing and School of Nursing, Directors and all the other dignitaries on the dais of the dais, my professional colleagues, graduates and postgraduates, who are being honored today, who are the real champions or the heroes of the day, parents and relatives of this proud graduates or postgraduates, colleagues and friends. I feel privileged and honored to be on the dais of a prestigious institution to witness and speak few words on the convocation ceremony. As a nursing student way back in 1980s, I have heard about Father Muller Institutions, one of the oldest school of nursing in the country. But I never knew many things which I learned about Father Muller Institutions in the last one month or so. Because I had come to Mullers on two or three occasions on different capacities. First I think I came in 1992 when I was working in Manipal, Kasra Media College, College of Nursing. Few of my friends joined for the first batch of MSC Nursing here. So I just wanted to say hi to them and I came over. Then on one or two occasions. But one thing which has struck me is the keenness in building a healthcare institution with stress on academic development. In professional circles, whenever we sit together for planning policies or suggesting policies to the government in my capacity as the president of Trainers Association of India or as an Indian Nursing Council member, or when we attend many meetings, one of the major issues raised is quality of nursing education in this country. India is one of the countries in the world 
where a uniform syllabus is practiced throughout the country. Very few countries only have that because there are variations in within the country in many countries. But instead, in spite of the uniformity in syllabus, the quality differs drastically. And when we take think about quality of institutions in different parts of the country with enormous growth of nursing institutions in many parts of the country, there are institutions which are always regarded or named or mentioned with high respect. And I am very happy to mention that, as all of you know, Father Muller's College of Nursing and School of Nursing is one of that. And definitely the graduates, the students who are passing out today can be happy and proud. And it increases their responsibility to live up to, up, up to that reputation and make it more glorious. The graduates of the former students of this institution has been doing it, but you have higher responsibility because now we are living in a global village with the digital technology and artificial intelligence where the news, good news and bad news spread like wildfire. So anything which you do shall always reflect upon your legacy and reputation of the institution. That is the big responsibility this institution has vested on you through in the four years or two years of your training here where you are molded as graduate nurses or postgraduate nurses or budding nurses or nurses with next step. So I take this opportunity to congratulate the students and parents for selecting this institution. And you are passing out in a time where there is a never before demand for nursing graduates around the world. As many of you may know, India has produced, or for any, any question in parliament, the Indian Nursing Council replaced that. As of last year, they told, 90, 2022, they told, we have 35 lakh plus nurses in India. With that 35 lakh plus nurses, our nurse population ratio is just about 2 to 1,000, 2 nurses per 1,000, whereas we actually need 4 per 1,000 in India. But the comedy or the tragedy is, out of these 35 lakh nurses, none of us are aware how many of these nurses are working in India. Many of them have gone to the other world or have departed this world. Many of them have retired and most of them have gone abroad. So, the actual population nurse ratio is much different from what the statistics of the Indian Nursing Council says. We may have hardly one, life, one nurse per thousand of the population, even if we leave, count all the nurses living in this country. Why I mentioned this is, in spite of this, India happens to be the second largest exporter of nurses to the world. And that's why many of my young friends are here for nursing because this is, as already mentioned by my friend Registrar Prasanna Kumar, that this is a visa also. Of course, I welcome the, the movement of nurses or I support the movement of nurses around the world because India has not done justice to nurses in spite of producing large number of nurses. We say about their sacrifice, their service, noble work, angels, all those good words are told, but the nursing profession do not, have never got the, reputa the reputation and recognition they deserve. I say this because as a senior professional and also as a president of nurse, in, in, Indians, India's Professional Nurses Association, which is 115 years old, as of now it is 115 years old. And the experience, there are many factors which have led to this. The patriarchal system in India, the way the male domination has been there, right from the <coughs> many centuries. And of course, the weakness and strength of nursing, which is part of nursing training. Nursing's origin is from two basic things. One is military or military nursing side and Christianity, Christian philosophy. These two things have paved the way for development of modern nursing. The same strength overstress on sometimes unnecessary discipline or sometimes unnecessary glorification as angels have led to many drawbacks. Same time, 
ഡിസിപ്ലിൻ സ്ട്രെങ്ത് ഓർഡർ ഡിഗ്നിറ്റി ആൻഡ് റെപ്യൂട്ടേഷൻ ഓൾസോ ഹാസ് കം ഫ്രം ദീസ് ടു ആസ്പെക്ട്സ് സോ ദി ന്യൂ ഗ്രാജുവേറ്റ്സ് ചലഞ്ച് ഈസ് ടു കമ്പൈൻ ദി സ്ട്രെങ്ത്സ് വിച്ച് വി ഹാവ് ഗോട്ട് ഫ്രം ദി എർലി സെഞ്ചുറീസ് ഓർ എർലി ഡെക്കേഡ്സ് വെയർ വി ഹാർ ഡെവലപ് നേഴ്സിംഗ് ഡെവലപ്ഡ് ആസ് എ മോഡേൺ പ്രൊഫഷൻ സെയിം ടൈം ട്രൈ ടു ചേഞ്ച് വിത്ത് ടൈംസ് യു ആർ ദി ഹോപ്പ് ഓഫ് ദി നെക്സ്റ്റ് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ജനറേഷൻ ഓഫ് നേഴ്സസ് ആൻഡ് ദി ദർ ഈസ് ഓൺലി വൺ തിങ് വിച്ച് ഈസ് പെർമനൻറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ചേഞ്ച് വി ഹാവ് ടു വർക്ക് ഫോർ ചേഞ്ച് വൈൽ വി ഡു നോട്ട് വൈൽ വി ഷാൽ എൻഷ്യൂർ ദാറ്റ് വി ഡു നോട്ട് ക്രോസ് ദി ഓർ വയലേറ്റ് എത്തിക്സ് ആൻഡ് ഷാൽ നോട്ട് എൻഡേഞ്ചർ ലൈഫ്സ് ഓഫ് എനി പീപ്പിൾ എനി പേഷ്യൻറ്റ് വൈൽ കെയറിംഗ് ഫോർ ദം സിൻസിയർലി ആൻഡ് using all our knowledge and skill we shall lobby for our rights and also for the development of the profession that's why train nurses association of india which is actually for the welfare of nurses in this country is now a recognized recruiting agency for nurses to abroad also on the request of government of india because government of india wanted to ensure that no nurses are cheated by unscrupulous agents i mentioned this because these nurses who are graduating from prestigious institutions like father mullers are most likely to go abroad within few months or for years and you are and those people who stay back in india have a greater challenge to develop the profession in this country this so called very democratic and secular country where we have many problems to face but we have been changing throughout i like as Dr. mr prasnagumar our registrar told ministry of health government of india now talk the bureaucrats talks about nursing nursing development nurse practitioner and just two days back we had a meeting in the train nurse association of india national office delhi where ministry officials came and was discussing how to implement nurse practitioner program in india more effectively though there is for it has been initiated by indian nursing council it has not taken shape well so how to do why i mentioned all this to the graduates is to just sensitize them to the challenges they are going to face if they want to stay in india i i, I hope and pray that at least few of you will stay in india to take care of people of this country because our citizens also require quality nursing care and these are the things which is happening and the pandemic which brought the focus on nursing because nursing care was the only hope in the initial period of the pandemic and we have lost 128 nurses in india while on the line of duty who were saving directly the covid patients and they are martyrs of nursing profession and we have collected data even the, even the government of india didn't have a data but the association had the data and that was submitted to the government why i mentioned that also is when ebola struck africa there was a request from the world health organization to the indian nursing council and the train nurses association of india whether we will get volunteer nurses to work in ebola affected african countries and the, the definitely they have sent the messages to the all the state branch presidents at that time i was the kerala state branch president of the tna and i was afraid to post this request in the social media groups because i thought the people will definitely abuse me badly you want to make more martyrs for nursing or something like that but with the hesitancy i thought it is my duty to post they wanted few conditions they have to be males unmarried people that was the conditions which was put so i was little afraid how the young boys will react to me that to sitting in kerala where it's a politically very sensitive place so when i posted this in social media within 24 hours i got 30 responses because ebola was much deadlier than nipa uh, sorry much deadlier than covid people were ready why it is not because for money it was the compassion which was inherent in nursing profession which was formed through four years of training or five uh, three years of training whatever is the training period that compassion we, ha- we have to keep in spite of what are the challenges we face while we lobby for our rights while we try to develop the profession and let me tell me dear graduates especially young graduates of general nursing and bsc nursing your vista your scope is so wide and if at all if anyone any one of you do want to divert to other professions also it is welcome 
because there are many nurses already in civil services. And if you take Ministry of Health, Government of India, just two years back, most of the health secretary, uh, the IAS top brass in the health ministry was medical doctors who were running the show as IAS officers because they have taken civil service. Same thing shall happen in nursing also and many other professions. As of now, when the Dr. Prasen Professor Prasanagumar's biodata was presented, he was introduced, they were saying about GFATM, Global Fund for AIDS and Tuberculosis Management. And this fund was managed by a nurse, an Indian nurse, who was the head of management of GFATM at that time in World Health Organization. And now he is the head of the UN refugee mission in Bangladesh for Rohingyan refugees. So there can be many areas where nurses can spread out because we are jack of all trades, though not master of none at the beginning of our profession. But you can learn and earn and diverse and diversify to many areas. And your training in Father Muller's will be an asset or a starting point. And this is starting of a new beginning. And you can definitely think of diverse areas where people, your seniors have not gone. So I take this opportunity to wish you all the best and always keep the spirit of learning because learning is the only thing which you will Will you, which will guide you forward further. Wishing you all the best and thanking you all for this great opportunity to address so many young graduates in a, such a nice convention hall. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for your meaningful thoughts and words of wisdom. Our achievements are shaped by the strength of the foundations we set. Well, now it is time to award the students who have made a difference by being the best through their achievements. So to announce the GNM and BSc Overall Excellence Awards, I call upon Dr. Agnes E.J. and I humbly request our President to do the honours and felicitate them. Also, I request all the other dignitaries to join. Here comes the most awaited moment. I am proud to present the Overall Excellence Awardees. Overall Excellence Award in GNM 2019-22 batch, prize founded by Superior General Sisters of Charity is awarded to Sherlyn Maria Chetri. Excellence Award in BSc Nursing 2018-22 batch. Prize donated by Reverend Father Dennis Desa in the memory of Mrs. Mary Desa Platinum Jubilee Memorial is awarded to Fernandez Melissa Swiesel Thomas. Give a big round of applause to both of them. Thank you all.
Now we would like to honor our guests on behalf of the institutions. So I request the president and our director to do the honors by presenting a memento. To the chief guest, Professor Prasanna Kumar O. The guest of honor, Dr. Roy K. George. Thank you, fathers. We have among us a charismatic leader who speaks inspiring words of wisdom with conviction who is none other than the Vice President of this institutions and the President of this graduation ceremony. May I now request Reverend Monsignor Maxim El Norona to deliver the Presidential Address. Very Reverend Richard Coelho, Director of Father Muller's Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Ajit Menezes, Administrator of for the Mullah's Charitable Institutions. Professor Prasanna Kumar O, Nurse Registrar, Karnataka State Nursing Council, the Chief Guest of today. Professor Roy K. George, National President, Trained Nurses Association of India, Guest of Honor of the Day. Reverend Sister Jacinta de Souza, Principal for the Mullah's School of Nursing and College of Nursing, faculty members, Reverend Father George Jeevan Sikpera and Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pais, Assistant Directors, Assistant Administrators, Dr. Divina Rodriguez, Vice Principal, Sister Danya, Chief Nursing Officer, all the dignitaries on the dais, of the dais, members of the governing board, members of the managing committee, members of the faculty, students, parents, and especially the graduates, and all my friends, and the people gathered here for this great occasion. I am extremely happy to witness this graduation ceremony of Father Muller School and College of Nursing of the year 2023. And at the very outset, I congratulate all students who have almost completed the nursing training at this esteemed and re renowned institution of Father Mullah School and College of Nursing. It is a happy and proud moment to you, graduates, and your parents, and to Father Muller Charitable Institutions. As I said, it is not only a happy moment, but also a proud moment for all of us, because Father Muller is the brand name in the field of nursing. The general nursing batch that comes out today is the 62nd batch, and the BSc nursing batch is 32nd one, and PB nursing 33rd batch, and MSC Nursing, 29th batch of nursing. The legacy of that great soul, the founder, Father August, Augustine Muller, is being carried on through Father Muller Charitable Institutions and the hospital, of which Father Muller School and College of Nursing is one of the units. Treating people with dignity and respect is important in all respects of life, but is essential when working in a care of nursing role. To treat someone with respect and dignity involves treating them as valued individuals and helps to establish an effective relationship between healthcare professionals and patients. Nursing is a noble task ahead of you in the service of the sick and the disabled. When it comes to caring the sick and the suffering, everyone is looking after, everyone should be looked after equally. 
There is no difference between the rich and the poor, an official in high dignity and a man from the street. And therefore, my advice to you, nurses, is that you do not take the nursing career just as a profession to earn your livelihood, but also as a vocation to serve the sick as did by the lady with the lamb, Florence Nightingale. There were brave and inspiring life stories of nurses, especially in times of war and pandemic. Even during the latest COVID-19 pandemic, the examples of a number of nurses who exhibited their courage in the service of the people affected by the coronavirus. I myself have experience when I was affected by this virus and got admitted in this hospital how the nurses rendered their smiling service in treating the patients. In this, in this respect, I salute you, nurses. When professionals like doctors treat the patients with their professionalism, the nurses dispatch the healing touch with kindness, compassion and care. And this healing touch has much to do in restoring good health and consoling the sick and suffering. In this process, nurses have to work patiently and proficiently, keeping aside their own fatigue and comforts. Another area we, that we celebrated today is presenting the awards and prizes to the excelled students in academic and other activities. Which, which have kept our institution on the pedestal. I congratulate them too on this occasion. I really appreciate the two main speakers of the day, the chief guest and the guest of honor. Both these personalities are in this field and they have, they have shared with us their experience and also the situation in which nurses of today stand the challenges they have to face, the preparation they have to do for the future, new innovations, new things that will come in the future. Therefore, we have to, and you have to keep on updating your knowledge of nursing field. Finally, a word of appreciation to the management, faculty and the staff of the institution and the students. It is because of their strenuous efforts which made the whole institution grow to the existing stature. For the Muller Institution is a charitable institution in the service of the society to the tune of heal and comfort. Because of the teamwork and the coordination involving different departments, we, have achieved, we could achieve much. We gratefully acknowledge the providence of the Almighty, intercession of the patron saint, St. Joachim and St. Anne, inspiration of our founder, late Father Augustine Muller, and the contribution each and every one, beginning from the governing body to every member of the Mullerian family who have joined hands with the functioning of this great institution, Father Muller. I thank the organizing team of today's graduation ceremony for making me a part of this program, which was organized so beautifully with this gratefulness in the heart, I conclude. Thank you, and God bless you. Thank you, dear Father, for your blessings. The culmination of this day has been possible because of so many hands and minds put together. Gratitude is a divine emotion which warms the hearts. I now invite Dr. Devina Rodriguez to propose the oath of thanks. Being thankful and expressing gratitude is an important part of being happy in life. On this heartfelt occasion, I'm here to thank all of you for your generosity. Honorable dignitaries, our most valued invited guests, graduates, parents, teachers, and dear students. It's my privilege to have been asked to propose the oath of thanks on this occasion. First of all, 
we bow our head in gratitude to God the Almighty for his unending blessings on us. We must mention our deep sense of appreciation to Reverend Monsignor Maxim L. Narona, Vicar General, Diocese of Mangalo, and Vice President of Father Muller Charitable Institutions and President of this program for gracing the occasion. We are pleased with your presence. We are inspired by your words and we are grateful to you for all that you have done for this institution. Thank you, Father. With due respect, we would like to thank Mr. Prasanna Kumar, the chief guest of today's ceremony, for accepting our invitation and for delivering such an inspiring speech. We really appreciate you taking out time for us from your busy schedule and for being ready to help us whenever we approach. For, we also thank you for being so kind towards us. Sir, thank you. It's a moment of pride for us to thank our guest of honor, Dr. Roy K. George, for providing ample guidance to Father Muller College of Nursing right from its inception. He was our faculty and has a share of his contribution in the growth of this institution. Thank you for your enormous support and for motivating our graduates. Quick decision and timely help provided by our beloved director, Reverend Father Richard Elocious Quello, has made our institution known for its diversity in academia. Today, our institution has become a gold standard for the rest of the colleges. Thankful gesture for your father for your untiring love towards nursing fraternity. Thank you, Father. We also thank our principal, Reverend Sister Jacinta D'Souza, for our untiring efforts, motivation, and crystal clear communication that has helped us to streamline today's program. Thank you for believing in us, dear sister. We also thank the administrator, assistant administrators of Father Muller Charitable Institutions, Reverend Father Ajit B. Menages, Reverend Father Sylvester Vincent Lobo, Reverend Father Roshan Krasta, Reverend Father George Jeevan Sequera, Reverend Father Nelson Deeraj Pais, Reverend Father Rohan M. Dias for their constant support. We also owe our gratitude to our Chief Nursing Officer, Reverend Sister Danya Devasya, for your constant support. Thank you, Sister. We thank our Spiritual Directors, Chief of Research, Medical Superintendent, Deputy Medical Superintendents, Member of Governing Council, Advisory Committee, Managing Committee, Dean, Vice Dean of Father Muller Group of Institutions, our HR Manager, License Officer, former administrators, former principals, former teachers, alumni, reverend fathers and sisters, our well-wishers and guests for your presence and for your blessings. We would like to take this opportunity to thank parents of our graduates for being here and cherishing the best moments in your children's life. Dear parents, Thank you for collaborating with us in molding your children. A big round of applause to the parents of our graduates. Dear graduates, it has been a long, intense journey, one which I hope you had cherished from your personal and professional point of view. Now I think you are in a position to do even more and better in your life. A few of our graduates were not able to be here in person, but they are following us online. We would like to greet them and thank them with affection. Dear graduates, thank you for being here. 
The meticulous ceremony depicts a teamwork. Dear convener, MCs, chairpersons of each committee, faculty, office staff, and other non-teaching staff of school and college of nursing, you have completed the challenge. A big kudos to your work and commitment. Yes, when there is a teamwork and collaboration, wonderful things can be achieved. A noteful gratitude to Mr. Vijay Olivera and team of students for Grand March. Band marching has added a special touch for this ceremony. Moreover, it is a most treasured possession of Father Muller College of Nursing. Thank you. Gratitude to students who led us into prayer through a prayer song and students who welcome the VIPs with Purna Kumbha Swagata. Dear students, thank you for volunteering and presenting the best etiquette during the entire graduation ceremony. We appreciate your leadership and remain thankful to you. Finally, we would like to convey our deepest thanks to Team Logistic, Video, Photography, Transport, Security, IT Department, Catering, Press and Media for your efforts. My humble apologies if I have forgotten to mention any names. Please accept as my personal appreciations. Mountain may fall, rivers may flow apart, but may we stand powerful and illuminate in the healing ministry of God. With these words, I'll conclude the given task for me. Thank you. May God bless us all. Have a great evening. Thank you, madam. As we have come to the end of the ceremony, we request you all to rise for the national anthem. Be seated for a minute as we would like to draw your attention to a few announcements regarding the refreshment arrangements in the Muller Dine, which is situated in the floor below this convention center. For our dignitaries and special guests, the refreshments are served in the VIP lounge. GNM graduates and their parents, counter number one. BSc graduates and their parents, counter number two and three. PBBSC and M.